Hey friends, welcome in. Happy uh, Monday the 2nd of Arthurtium, the legend. January 2nd of 2020 fucking three, which is insane. Thank you, Maglet, for using the secret Arthurtium command. Uh, welcome in everybody. Yeah, I got confused which song you guys were talking about. I didn't have my earbuds in and I thought you were talking about one of the songs in the intro. <laughs> uh, so I had to like pop him in and wait for him to sync and all that. Apparently there's a good song at the end of Plants vs. Zombies, because Plants vs. Zombies is from an era where games like Portal had, like, these amazing songs at the end of them. Um, I think I can see where it's going, for sure. I mean, you could beat it a little after an hour with speedrun tech. I've never played this game. I've never played this game. I don't know what I'm in for. I know it's tower defense. I'm playing my wife's copy. It's like the first box video game she ever bought. Because uh, it was one of the only games I would run on her MacBook that she had at the time. Welcome in, everybody, though. Uh, Mr. V got first, stock for water. Commonly rare, Big D, Mac Lad. Jessica, welcome in. Did I miss anybody? I think I got everybody. You think you played this on Android 2.2? Man. Man. I remember, I remember, like first and second generation android. That was a thing. The Michael Jackson zombie in it. They removed him in an update, I think. You know what? I've got a memory of that. This might. So this is, this is like, uh, we'll look at the box here in a minute, but this is like the Best Buy boxed version uh, that's been in my home for a long time. 2009. A long time. I don't feel like doing math. I've got a really exciting month coming up. Damn, PopCap Games throwback. I know, right? Well, so there's demos, and and maybe we can look at some of the demos that are on this disc as well. For, like, pegging and, um... Uh... Zuma, or... Gym Smasher. <laughs> yeah, where's the Peggle box? Well, there's a demo in here on this. Zuma was the best. I, yeah, I can't remember what the other one was. I installed one of them because it was like, tr try all these games. And like, I didn't quite focus on the word try, but there's demos for some games, um, which is fine. Uh, oh, so this is exciting. Um, I've been wanting to do this for a while, but now it is a save and raid milestone for this year's save and raid. If you don't know what saving rate is, you can find out a lot more right here. Um, uh, it's a 41, 41 streamer relay marathon. We'll be playing through Fallout 1 and 2 and maybe Tactics if we get that far uh, this year. Uh, for suicide prevention. Um, so I, I added, because I am in control of the website, but I added a, uh, if you go there and you go to... Um, Actually, here, fuck it, let's go on a trip. Y'all ready to go on a trip? Let's go on a trip. Put you over here. That's tough. Where are you taking me? Okay, good. So here's the Save and Raid website if you haven't been here before. TechLink. TechLink here made this with love uh, for the community because he's a fucking badass. Uh, so Save and Raid begins in 53 days, which is like no time at all. No time at all. Um, there's a trailer here that Haggard Hessian put together for us that you can watch about having the, the application. The application's here on the front page. Um, I'll walk you through the application real quick, if y'all are interested. Because of course you are, let's go. Uh, so there's a little bit to read here, what the event is, what the game is, what our goals are, the cause, the date. Uh, click next on that. Uh, you gotta read all this before you, uh, before you agree to it. 
Um, you know, we've learned a lot over the past couple of years, and these are our initial, you know, expectations that we want to set for everybody joining up. Um, you know, we're going to have things like video meetings before the events, and we're going to have check-ins, a one-on-one -on -one check-in, um, to make sure everybody's ready to go, um, and have the, you know, the, the best time possible with it. Um, so once you agree to that, you click next. This is the mandatory information. So here, you're going to put your Twitch channel, uh, how you want your Twitch name displayed for the event, uh, have you bookmarked the website? The only option is, oh boy, did I ever. You're welcome for that. You're welcome for that. Um, then, so I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna fake this off for a second here. If we can get to the next one. Now, you're in the Discord. Discord's a requirement. Tactically, I guess we could work around somebody not being in the Discord since we're putting all the information possible on the website. But you're, I mean, if you're a streamer, you're probably on Discord, so. Uh, what's your Discord tag? Email address. I need this for the Google Drive so that we can invite you to dump the save files and pick up your save files when you start your hour. Um, this is, uh, the important note on this is that it needs to be whatever email address you use with Google. Right? Yeah, for the video calls anyways. Yeah, it's true. It's, it's required. It's required. <laughs> I tried to dodge it, but yes, it's required. Um, and what's your uh, some some time zones here that that work for you? So once you once you do all the required ones, then you can come over here to the optional stuff. We don't really need this. It's just nice to be able to like follow each other on Twitter with the same rate account um, and tweet when it's your time, and we can tag you on Twitter or whatever. Have you played the game series before? Have you taken part in previous save and rate events? Uh, will you be co-streaming with another applicant? Like, do you have a person that you you co-stream with? This allows us to get more um, more people involved in the event. Um, then, because we are like a limit of 44 streamers, right? But if there are two people that you know co-stream together often and want to take up one slot with two people, that's awesome, great. So here's here's like this is like hidden at the end, and I think there's been a lot of people that have like been like I have you know X special requirement. Or what if, or can I be added to the um, the reserve list? This is the place for it. It's at the end of the it's at the end of the sign up, and I think um, there were some people that weren't really getting to the end and didn't realize this was here. Um, but like, you know, do you need us to loan you a mod? One of us, uh, the event coordinators, um, so that you can you know do whatever it takes to enjoy the event and not have to worry about you know chat, hate raids, whatever whatever could come up, right? Um, uh, you know, is English your first language? Is do we need to find a translator to hang out with you in voice chat? Because that's a thing. That's a thing that I'm willing to to figure out. Um, honestly, I'd love to figure out that challenge. Um, and then you submit, and you get a message saying, "All right, you know, we, we're getting the applications. You'll be contacted like mid January." Um, so here's the team. All these awesome people here. This was the original team here for like the first two years. It was the four of us. You know, me through Radgrid and Seek. Now we've added LGG. She does the scheduling now, so she'll be contacting everybody that's applied. Um, Haggard's doing special projects. He's helping us with videos and like highlight clips from the previous years. Uh, my wife is general admin. Basically, she just, she just, you know, helps me out. <laughs> TechLink made the website. Yoshi does our logo every year in house for the last three years. So anything that's like, you know, art, whatever, this is all Yoshimitsu. Awesome, awesome dude. So, you know, once we start getting things scheduled in, the participants page, it just has us right now, um, you know, the the founding, the founding people that will be participating, we'll start adding you here. Um, and what's really cool about this web page is once you are in this web page, then you'll be able to access the participant portal. And this is the place where um, where we're going to keep all of the information so that it's easy to get to for every participant. Um, we'll have, for example, a jump over to the Google Drive where all the forms, where all the save files are going to be stored. I still need to clean this up a bit, but um, so everybody will have their own folder. When you, so what you do, what you do when you go live when you're in this event 
As you go to the person before you, you grab their save files. You play for an hour, you upload your save files to your folders because that's the only one you'll have right access to. And then the next person is gonna go into your folder and pull out those files and continue where you left off. That's how the event works. It's really simple. Hey, Gondolarian, welcome in. Um, so the shortcut to that's gonna be in here. Um, they will have like frequently asked questions, tips and tricks. Um, and there will be like instructions on how to, where to place the files. If you need to disable uh, save clouds, stuff like that so they don't get overwritten. Um, and kind of the really cool thing about the event, uh, cause I don't, I've been hearing a lot of concerns about the mechanics of how the event works. If something terrible happens and like we run into like a serious soft lock, guess what? We've got all these previous save files. We just go back to a place where we think it's fixed and we try again. Um, and we're good to go. Like, we put a lot of thought into how this works. That's why we're not overwriting the save files each time. We'll always have a fallback for the entire event. Um, and to log out of this, you just hit disconnect here. Um, when, you, when you aren't logged in, this is the way this works and we're really proud of this. You just click the Raiders button it takes you here. You don't have to enter your, um, you know, as long as your browser's logged into Twitch, you just need to click authorize and you're in. That's a login. It's a logic check against the participants, right? Um, but yeah, but the only thing here is that, you know, we're going to be looking at your email address and verification status on Twitch. That's it. You just do that, then you're in. Boom. Um... The schedule will be here once we start getting that sorted out. This web, this page is going to be really fucking cool. Really cool, though. Um, so there's going to be like a red line that goes through this and lets you know where we are. You can just click here to go to it. But there's also going to be a video player that pops up right here. Um, that will be the current, the current stream that's live. Uh, milestones here. So this is why, this is why we're here. Um, I just added this one today. Uh, the demo disc gauntlet. Uh, I'm planning for the month of April if if we reach five thousand dollars, and I I sincerely doubt we won't. How, wait, did I say that right? We're definitely gonna get five thousand dollars. So this is pretty much a gimme, but because I want to do it, I made it low. Um, for the month of April, Artyom Havoc will stream content from different demo discs for each one-hour stream. The roof party. I know. I know. This is, this is lorem ipsum hipster bullshit. Um, it's a word generator that TechLink used to populate the website to see how it looked. And there were probably 10 different ones, but this one was so fucking hilarious that I just left it there in hopes that LGG finds a way to honor it if we reach $3,000. Because it's ridiculous. Irony asymmetrical, put a bird on it photo booth. Hell of a Kogi Succulents Roof Party Thundercats next. Lift asymmetrical big mood hashtag to be honest. Bond me milkshake. Beard ascot single origin coffee. Relevant. Relevant. Unicorn Ophel tattooed bicycle rights. Uh, bicycle rights. Gatekeep taco tacos occupy disrupt meh. Freakin' roof party bodega boys. To be honest, jean shorts live edge. Yep. This is gonna be amazing. If she figures out something to do with this, it's gonna be like the single best moment of the of the you know the, the next year. Gotta stand up for those unicorn bicycle rides. Look, roof party bodega boys. To be honest, jean shorts is like my favorite line in this. Um, she doesn't have to. She doesn't have to. But if she does figure out a way to honor this ridiculous redeem, like she's pretty much gonna win the whole year. I, I, it's gonna be awesome. It's gonna be awesome. But I'm really excited about this. I've got a whole bunch of demo discs that I collected last year, um, and my thought for my thought for this is in the month of April, if we meet, you know, meet this goal, that I will dedicate each day to a different demo disc. We can look at all the videos on it. We can try to down, try to install all the games on you know, c appropriate computers and see if we can just play like 10 minutes of each demo um, and get a feel for some games and maybe see what was out there. Um, but I got some uh, PC gamer and computer gaming world, you know, demo discs. So I'm just excited to call it the demo disc gauntlet. 
Is there an overlay made for save and raid participants, or will it just be a charity link? There will be, there will be an overlay. Um, we'll be using, so we're looking at a couple different options. Um, we're looking at a couple different options. Prob we're going to be doing the donations through Tiltify. Um, uh, yeah, so the, the, it'll be through Tiltify. That's right. Both, technically, technically you could donate now if you wanted to. Um, for saving rude wastelands. Um, but it'll be here. They, they offer overlays. They're not amazing. We're just gonna make them our colors. Um, and where you will find them will be right here. There will be a section for overlays and stream assets. Um, and they'll be available to the participants through the participant portal. So literally everything that you'll need will be right here in the participant portal. Um, you know, before and during the event. Um, Alright, so milestones. There is year-round merchandise for sale now. Any profit from this goes into the event. We did decide to put up one of last year's t-shirts at a little bit higher price. It's a $10 donation. So if you if you wanted last year's t-shirt, which is a really good design from Yoshimitsu, um, you can still get that. Support, you know, the event in general. Um, this is not this year's logo. This is our official year-round logo. Um, here in the next couple weeks, Yoshimitsu is going to start working on a Fallout-inspired design. Um, so be aware if you're thinking like, oh, that shirt looks nice. Maybe you want to wait and see what this year's design looks for. But if you just want to support Save and Raid in general, um, at any point, these are available. Um, we fucking love the way they look. Holy shit. If you want stuff for the media kit... Here is our color codes. You can download everything as a zip file. Here's our logos in the highest resolutions, SVGA, SVG and uh, PNG. Uh, but yeah, this is all the, the official stuff. This is cool. I've never had anything like this before. Like, this is fucking dope. And if you want to see what Save and Raid is about previous events, um, you can go to this beautiful custom video player um, that feeds off of our YouTube, um, where you can look at each year in order it starts in the middle of the page for whatever reason. It's just kind of because it scrolls and repeats. Uh, but yeah, you can you can watch almost the entire event. Uh, there were a couple of VODs uh, that got lost, unfortunately. But you can watch the previous the Dr. Dan interview with me and Bogle. Um, and then so that's the first year. That's 2021. Here's 2022, which is last year's. Just, just fun. I, I love that we're able to have this on the website. Look at all these smiles. Man, I fucking, I'm fucking pumped for this year. It's gonna be so great. Um, and then also on our website, uh, we have a link to save, which is who we're supporting through the, the donations and the money. Uh, if you needed something like this, this website is fucking incredible. It's save.org, right? We're saveandraid.org. They're save.org. Um, but there's a link on saveandraid.org if you forget where it was. Uh, find help. This section of their website is... I, I keep this bookmarked. This is always bookmarked for me. Um, I'm having thoughts of suicides. I'm concerned about someone else. Crisis services for uh, survivors coping with loss. Um, the resources and information that they have here are fucking incredible, and I, I feel like this should be in everybody's bookmark. Especially if you're a streamer, or anyone who has a community of, you know, diverse people around you who are in different places in their life. You just never know when when a resource like this um, might be needed. Um, you know, they'll give you the information. In, in the United States, they actually changed the suicide hotline to 988 which is kind of a 911 number. This is a change that's happened in the last year, um, which is which is big, and hopefully people will remember um, that it's just it's just easy, right? Uh, removing as many blockers from getting help is very important here. Uh, but yeah, so that's all that we've we've run the we've run the gauntlet on the website. It was a number before. Yeah, it was a phone number before. 999, 988, so much nicer. Yeah. 
Um, okay. Uh, let's see here. Schedule. I put out a schedule uh, last night. It's in the Discord. It's in the About section. It's in parts of the stream, like the intro scene. Here's all the games we're going to do this month. Um, Sacris, great to see, by the way. Uh, January schedule. So in the Discord, I added timestamps to it. Um, these will always be in your local time. Um, but, you know, here, these get really big and messy. So th these are all still just Pacific time. But if you want to know what, like, you know, these are the one-hour streams, this is an extra stream, these will tell you what time they are in your local time. Um, and that's, like, in a, in a... It's in the schedule part of the Discord. Um... I would love to come up with a way for this to look nicer and still have the amount of information I need it to have. And I tried a couple of different things. I probably spent 10 hours on it yesterday, which was a lot to kind of go back to the exactly the way it was. You know, because some of these days where I have two streams on one day that are at different times, just, I don't know. I don't like the way it looks here, but I don't know how else to do it, right? Because it's important. So what I need for this is to be easily transferable to three different places. Discord, and this is all fine on Discord. A much narrower section on the About Me section of Twitch. And also in this text file, which scrolls in the beginning of my stream. And here I have to make some cuts because I can only make this, this font so small so I've taken off where the games are taking place, Windows XP, Steam, DOS, whatever, um, to make sure that they don't wrap and look stupid. Um, these also go into an image. Uh, and GIMP. Well, this image is my offline image that I update every month. Could use OS icon, but I can't do that in a text file, you know? Yeah, so I make this image every month, and this is always my offline image. Um, when I'm not live. Yeah, GIMP, yeah, GIMP is great. I use Photoshop for a while, but I always go back to GIMP, because I get tired of, like, well, paying or cracking Photoshop. It's, uh, it's a pain in the ass. All right, Plants vs. Zombies is what we're doing here today. Sir Whoopass Immortal Death tomorrow. This was a suggestion from Final Girl, if I remember correctly. Tuesday night, we're going to get back to Her Herit or Hexen, Beyond Heretic. Entropy Zero, this is actually a mod. Um, but some people are considering this Half-Life 3. So I'm pretty pretty excited about that. You're using Paint Shop Pro over there. Critter is a really good art alternative to Photoshop. I've heard of Critter. I'm just so... I'm really well adapted to GIMP um, at this point. And it's never not done what I needed it to do, so I don't really have a reason to go learn a totally another program. Plus, I dedicated, like, large portions of my brain to understanding all the obtuse gimp shit. <laughs> um, section 8. I'm really, really pumped about this. Um, this is a game that I bought quite a while ago. It's an FPS game that I thought had a really cool thing. And when I bought it, it turned out to be mostly multiplayer, but there's some single-player stuff. Um, th these are no longer on Steam anymore. Section 8 Prejudice was digital only, um, and I didn't have it. I actually ended up, it's for sale. This is a single player campaign in here, a story about Section 8. Um, but I ended up buying it on Humble. They still have it available there as a Steam key for whatever reason, so I snagged that. Captain Peel Card is our new show guest of this Friday. Finally, finally. He was, he was meant to be one of the very first guests. Uh, but November was busy for so much of us. You like uh, uh, E and Open Office, hate Excel. Could just be agent for Microsoft in general. You know, I what do I use? Uh, writer. I use LibreOffice, which those are like splinters off of each other. I used to use Open Office. Um. This was a gift, Dorf Romantic, this was a gift from Daily Dana. Um, because I'm always watching her playing it. And I was never sure if it would run on the Steam Deck, but apparently it's got controller support now. But we're going to check that out next Monday. I'm hyped about that. Um, Desert Child, I don't actually remember, but it looks slightly interesting. It was a game that I redeemed on Amazon Prime. Um, 
I am assuming by next Tuesday we're going to be in the expansion for Hexic Hexen, which is Death Kings of the Dark Citadel. But these, like the extra streams may shift as stuff takes more time. Or, um, uh, take less time even. Like we could be done with Hexen tomorrow night and, you know, this will all shift. So these are, these are my general idea rather than just putting extra stream, extra stream, extra stream this month because I feel like I have a good grasp of how long things will take, but it might shift. Yeah, me and me and Jessica Woot and Daily Dana, we're all connected through through Dork Romantic. Um, wow, that sounds like an amazing dating app. Dork Romantic. Love it. Love it. Hey, Taki Rosh, welcome in. But I actually met Jessica while I was watching Daily Dana play, the, play um, Dork Romantic. Because she was playing Dorf Romantic, and it was an amazing meeting. You call you call them dibs on Dork Romantic? Excellent. I played some Dorf after you were talking about it. Registering. <laughs> there he is. <laughs> Just tech link on the spot. Totally should too. Dork Romantic. That'd be amazing. My wife really liked Dorf Romantic. Hey, Skip, Skip, Skip. I, yeah, I can't wait to play this. This is going to be a super zen stream. Um, Togum. This is a game that we looked at in one of the news shows. It is like a single death stealth game in third person that is either going to be terrible or amazing, but it's one of the ones that I bought. Um, Heroes Hour. I can't remember. I can't remember what it was. It's there. This surface, I think, was an FPS. Dan Van Dam. Um, another excellent streamer is going to be joining me on Friday the 13th for new show. Raven Sword Shadowland was either an isometric hack and slash or an ARPG or it was a third person game. I don't know. We'll be surprised when we get to it. I have no idea what the fuck Avon Colony is. Like, I looked at the Epic Store at screenshots of it and that didn't help either. It was just like scenery of a space station. So maybe it's a city management, but I saw no UI to speak of. So we'll find out day of. I'm hoping to be into Hexen 2 at this point. Heaven's Vault looks like an incredible adventure game. Pretty pumped about that. That one's been on my schedule a few times, but it kept getting bumped um, because of I had to take time off or, you know, whatever. Uh, Schism the Mysterious Journey is an older game that we're going to play in XP. It was on GOG. That's SimCity. You have it on your wish list? Yeah, yeah, it'll be a big surprise. <laughs> uh, Dark Messiah, Might and Magic. Uh, it's a game that I found at a Goodwill store, so I have that on CD-ROM, or DVD-ROM. I fired it up for a second. I was shocked to learn that it uses Half-Life 2 Source Engine. Um, I don't know anything about it. Nothing. But, but the little bit I played, I am, like, beside myself giddy. It's Arcane Studio, yeah. I am beside myself giddy about getting to play it. Uh, more on Arcane in a second. I know some of you who know Arcane Studio already see it right? Premier Orc Kicking Simulator. I heard that! I heard that there's nothing more fun than kicking some orcs into a spike. Into spikes. Uh, news show uh, here. Typically is finally going to be joining us. She was sick the last time I had her scheduled, so uh, we had to do a make update. So Friday the 20th, Typically will be joining for news show. Will Rock looks like an incredible FPS that I bought a CD-ROM of, oh god, maybe a year and a half ago and haven't touched. So we're finally getting to that. Scarlet Nexus was anime something, maybe? I don't remember. Um, Arx Fatalis is another game from Arcane Studio that came out like the next year after Dark Messiah. Um, so it'll be interesting to see what these two games are like. The release dates were very close. Spectrum Effect, I don't remember. This one got bumped from like this past summer um, like, I keep a list of games that get bumped out here. So these are all ones that I had on the schedule, but for one reason or another, had to bump them out. Um, so I don't remember what it was, except that I know it was on Amazon. Sorry, I was just looking at the, the promotes that just went up to make sure there wasn't anything left over from December. This is uh, something I found on GOG, which is a Warhammer 40k FPS game that looks dope as shit. Really good game that no one plays. Yeah. Um, oh, this... Oh, man. I didn't have, mean to have his name here. Um, so, Purblind Gamer. This is actually his Discord tag, so I guess it's not that secret. 
Uh, but per, per Blind Gamer will be joining you on Friday, January 27th for a news show. Um, yeah, Head and Blood Right. I played the original mod for this. Fire Warrior looks amazing. Um, and I was really taken by it, but then I heard it was getting a Steam release, so I decided to wait for it to come out. And now it's been like 10 years. Um, so I'm finally going to be checking that out. Um, Defense Grid, The Awakening. This is a very cool controller-enabled um, tower defense game that I really liked um, the bit I played of it way back in the day. Um, so we're going to get some more action in that. The Veil. This came up... This came up... Well, this comes up a lot. The Veil is a game designed from the ground up to be played by blind persons. Or visually impaired persons. Uh, this game features almost no visuals at all. And you play the game entirely with a controller and with your ears. Um, this is going to be an interesting stream. I'm really fucking pumped about it. Yeah, I, ha I think I have the portal theme DLC for that as well. Uh, for, for Defense Grid. Uh, but the Veil, I'm really hyped about. I won it in a giveaway on um, Shrimp Army Game Stream. Uh, who's a mutual friend between me and Pickley. Uh, so I'm, I'm just, I'm pumped about this because this game looks so fucking cool. Oh, well, sounds. Sounds so, I don't even know. Like, it's already, like, breaking the mold for me, right? Relicta? Rel Relicta? I don't remember. I think it's a runner. I think it's a female protagonist game. Uh, we'll figure it out. Um, and, and like right in the beginning of February, I'm finally putting the suicide of Rachel Foster on, on, on my schedule. Um, I've, I had this on my schedule in last February, but it was right before save and raid. Um, and I just didn't know how I felt about that. Um, because I didn't want it, or maybe it was right after save and raid. I didn't want it to be triggering, but this year, this year, I'm just going to fucking do it. We're going to check out The Suicide of Rachel Foster, which is, my best recollection, is like an adventure game, su uh, puzzle game. Um, maybe a walking sim? Um, it's very well reviewed, and I kind of want to see how it approaches the topic. I feel like, I don't know. I didn't, I wasn't feeling like it was a good idea last year, but this year I am. So, we're going to do it in February. Um, waiting to hear back. Uh from Slim Cali on this one, but that's tentatively who's penciled in here. Uh, but this brings us to Monday. This is the end of the schedule. But Monday, the 6th of February, is one hour stream number 666. We're going to play Diablo Resurrected. I couldn't think of anything better than that. Well, not that I wanted to find something better. It, it meant it's the perfect thing. Considering we just played a bunch of Doom. Um... Uh, a couple weeks ago. So I'll be checking out Diablo Resurrected with a controller, even, on PC on that day. I'm hyped about that. That's a that's a really big milestone, to be honest. Like, just to think that I've crossed over 600 one-hour streams since I started in 2020, that's madness. Um, this also means we're getting close to the 700th one-hour stream, which I need to figure out what to do for that. I love crossing these milestones and, like, playing something that's very special to me. Um, or whatever. Uh, yeah. So that's the schedule. I'm hyped about it. D2 is perfect for 666, isn't it? You know, and I would have done, I would have done Diablo 1, except that, like, we, I did a lot of Diablo 1 and since I started streaming, right? Like, we did the Blood Lily Machinima um, from our playthrough of Diablo 1 on PC, which was one of the first retro PC games that I streamed. Um, on, on real hardware when I could capture it. Um, and then I traveled to Sacramento and hung out with CQ Wisdom and we played co-op Diablo 1 on the PlayStation 1. Um, I feel like Diablo 1 is pretty played here. And I'm ready to move on um, to Diablo 2 and some Torchlight. So, well, here, hang on. Let me ask you all this. Uh, since this is not officially on the schedule yet, um, it's on next month's schedule, right? Diablo Resurrected. What would be? What do you all want to see? Do you want to see just Diablo 2 as it was in Windows XP? Or do we want to look at Diablo Resurrected? Like, what is, uh, you know, I'm willing, I'm willing to take an input or have a vote on that. Um, so maybe, 
Let's look at Diablo 2 Resurrected. That's kind of where I'm at with it, too. I, I promise you. Hold on. I promise you that we will do a full-on air-appropriate hardware playthrough of Diablo 2 um, from my CD-ROMs. That's a thing that, that will happen. Um, like a full playthrough. We're going to go full playthrough Amazon. It's going to be amazing. Not played because of personal boy Scott. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I don't want to get into that. <laughs> I hear you, and I feel you. The Diablo the Diablo 2 Catesio remake, wouldn't that be amazing? Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't want to get into that, but I totally understand. Totally understand. Um, but yeah, there, so... That would be... I'll probably make, like, later in this month, I'll make a vote on the Discord to see what everybody thinks. But I am leaning toward Resurrected, because that's the one I haven't played, and that's kind of... That's kind of one-hour stream appropriate, you know? Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, no worries. No worries. Um, but yeah. I think we're all caught up. I think we're ready to... Uh, I think we're ready to check out today's game. Originally, I wasn't going to stream today, um, but things lined up. My wife wanted to go to the gym, and I was like, okay. Because we both, this was going to be our day off. Um, also, I miscounted my numbers, so. Let's go to games and demos. For visibility. And let's dive in. So we're doing this on, oh, box. We got a box. Look at the box. I think this is a game a lot of people own. Um, digitally. I don't know if I'm ever going to eat that gum. It's just been sitting there for weeks. So this is a really cool box because it's a double cover, right? Um, not both sides are gatefold. Only this one is. You're glad I did. I need context. What was the context on that? <laughs> I've already, like, moved on in my head and I'm not sure what you're responding to. Oh, I'm glad I streamed. Got it, got it, got it. Um, you were turned off by the concept of the whole lane battler at the time. I was too. I wanted to play FPS games and, and stuff. Um, and you know, my wife played this and it's like all she played for a while. She played this and she played Torchlight, um, Little Inferno, uh, some Sims here and there. But it's basically she can only play what would run on her little MacBook. Um, uh, and I was just, frankly, I was just happy she liked video games. Um, uh, which made her, made her fucking awesome. Um... But yeah, I remember, I was with her when we bought this. Because we, I, you know, I'm, I wonder if I used, like, my Best Buy credit card to buy this one. I can't remember. Because I know we bought, like, a bunch of games when I got my lap, my gaming laptop back then. This was back in, like, 2008, 2009. I don't remember. No, maybe she grabbed this when she got her laptop. Uh, but yeah, it was never of interest to me. Though I can see its charm, I've never really played it. Um, which honestly makes it perfect for the one hour stream and when I when I looked over at the shelf and saw it I knew exactly what the first stream in January was going to be and it was going to be this because it's silly and goofy and it has like all the charm in the world but yeah I just keep wanting to show you the back of the box and it's not there damn you uh, but yeah went 2000 XP and Vista is what this one's good for, and for say, Apple Macintosh. It's nice that both of these are in there. So this this particular game has one of the most unique ways of holding the CD in there that I've ever seen. The newest iteration of it's almost a hero shooter. You're talking about Garden Warfare? That is a really fun spinoff. Look at this, look at this. Love the name, yeah. Yeah, I never play, I've never played any of them, but Garden Warfare 2 also was like a really cool crossover idea. Look at who's... Have you guys ever seen a box like this on the inside? This one's just wild to me. Wild. Uh, but yeah, CD's here. There's uh, some instructions. Not much in here. It's whatever. Uh, but yeah, I don't think I need the CD since it's installed. But we're going to leave it out because we might install some demos and mess around with stuff if the game still doesn't click for me. Uh... Let's head over here. Gotta let this thing come back on.
and get my chat monitor plugged in because I forgot. Really appreciate y'all being here today, by the way. Hi, thank you for the bits. Thank you for the 150 bits. Really appreciate you, friend. Hope you're having... Yeah, Happy New Year. I hope you're having a wonderful start to this new year. I... Look, y'all. 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 I could not be more excited about 2023, and I can't quite put a finger on why, but I'm just so excited for all the things that we're going to do this year. Not just me, not just me and my stream, but all of you and your streams and the community we're building. I feel really fucking good about all of it this year. And I usually do. I usually do. Um, but I was really stressed out at the beginning of last year. And this year, I just feel... Some of the connections that have been made in the last couple of years uh, with many of you are just, I don't know how to explain it, but I feel, it kind of feels weightless, right? Like so many of us are in such a good place with all of our projects and our friendship um, that I just, I don't know. I kind of feel carefree. Um, and I hope, I hope that y'all feel the same. You're stressed instead? Well... <laughs> I just, I just have a good feeling about 2023, um, and I think we're going to do amazing things together. Okay, there we go. <clears throat> okay, to you. What the hell just happened? Did you all just hear text to speech from Pi that said test? Was that on the stream? I don't have any text to speech stuff. You did not hear it. TTS and Lumia extension. Oh, okay. Okay. So my, my Lumia, the thing that controls my lights is what just did text to speech. Okay. I didn't know that worked. That was, that was so weird and alarming. And I was like nothing open that would have had text to speech. <laughs> Can your lights talk? They, well, they do. Yeah. Um, no, no, it, it, I don't have a source in OBS for that. I assume. Um, but <laughs> you're just like <laughs> haunted cursed shit oh my god that one got me <laughs> what was i even talking about um but yes i love this background too um i downloaded something from gog that actually had some windows xp screensavers and backgrounds which i'm pretty pumped to get over here but i haven't put them on a jump drive yet Jewel, that was the other game I was thinking of there. All right, y'all ready? I love this this intro tune. It's real fucking good. My wife is here to su provide support to me. <clears throat> So she is a pro at this game. Oh. Yeah. Get rid of this thing. Me and the dog are outside tossing a ball around. Are you ready? That sounds wonderful. That sounds wonderful. <laughs> How are the volumes? Volume's good? So something interesting here. There's a little help pot down here at the bottom. When you click this, uh, they troll you. Help for plants and zombies game. When the zombies show up, just sit there and don't do anything. You you win when uh, the game, when the zombies get to your house. This help section is brought to you by the zombies. I fucking love this. This is amazing. 
There's also nothing here to help you at all. I'm on I'm on my Windows XP machine. We're we're playing this in like 1024 by 768. Not a window. It's full screen. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we're playing this. We're playing this on OG hardware. <clears throat> as much as possible. It runs tiny on modern PCs. Does the Steam one? Does it have issues? Also, what does PC Gaming Wiki say? I'm sure there's a way around it. I think I know what you're talking about, though. Uh, let's start an adventure here. Oh, God, the split fingernails. Are, they're upsetting to me. Uh, let's restart level. Restart level. This is the only game your father would ever play. Let's roll out the grass. What's this thing? Uh, click on a seed packet to pick it up. Okay, P shooter. Just place it somewhere? I guess we're gonna put it here, right? Nicely done. What's that? What's that? Oh, there's things to click. It's a clicker, okay. Uh, keep collecting the suns you need to grow another one. You got it? Don't let the zombies reach your hoofs. I'm already, like, sweating. Can I pick up his head? Body? Nothing? Harness the power of the sun! Is this progress here? That's a very satisfying slap sound. Sound effects are great, yeah. Loving it. So each sun is what, 25? What's that? Yo, we got a sunflower? The Boom and Doom Seed Company. Bloom and Doom. Gives you additional sun. As it should. Oh, do we beat the level? Okay. Oh, fuck. Well, maybe don't. Is an extremely important plan. We're gonna pop it there. The more sunflowers you have, the faster your plants will grow. Oh, and they drop their own sun. You think I should grab? I should grab all three. We'll do all lanes have one. Now we're gonna get the pea shooters down because those fucking zombies they be coming. You think they don't, but they do be. Where are you? You're down here? Lawn mowers? Wait, who the hell thought that was a good idea? Don't leave yourself defenses? I'm good. I'm fine. We're good. Oh, <laughs> why it's all fucking stressed out? <laughs> Love it. <clears throat> What do you think? Is he gonna come up here? I should have probably left that one open until I knew where they were gonna be. Did these things go away if I don't get them fast enough? No, that was, that was good though. That's fine. I'm gonna double up down here though. See, this game's all fun now. Right? It's fun now. But I know it's gonna make me like super panic in a minute. Look at this jackass. Look at this jackass. The brain flag.
blows up zombies in an area. So I plant these out at the beginning then, huh? Next level. Look, we haven't game over yet. Hmm. Don't roll out more. Don't roll out more. Alright, here they come. That was a mistake. Probably gonna pay for that. So these cherries, are they a disposable thing? I can only use, they only get used once, you mean? Is that what, is that what you mean? They are mods. Okay, so they're single use. Does this, does this helmet, that helmet counts as armor, doesn't it? Motherfuckers. I feel like I, I feel like I, I did good enough here that we'll get to play with this at least twice. Right there? Okay, okay. That's pretty good. Oh, I got to use it once? Ah, oh, dick bags. Alright. What are you, coconut thing? Blocks off zombies and protects your other plants. Oh, so they can destroy my plants. All right. You know, cherries are like panic attack. Yeah. All right, hang tight. I'm gonna go run to the restroom really quick, and uh, we're gonna play some more. This is awesome. <laughs> One of the things. One of the things that I like about myself as an adult that does not have my head up my ass uh, is that I've come around on a lot of things that I initially was like, fuck that. Like this game. I'm really enjoying this. Alright, be right back. Oh shit, I'm done. Oh! Damn it. One second, chat. I have 30 seconds. I have to really go after this motherfucker. Oh, and I gotta back off. Shit. Yeah, I ain't gonna do it. I think it happened. Oh, it might. Oh, I got him in the nick of time. Holy. 
Y'all see that? Zero seconds left on the clock. Holy crap, that was the closest I've ever... Damn, yeah, exactly. Huh? You all hear that? Hey, hold on. Oh no, I died. Oh no, I'm... Ugh, that's bad. Okay, we learned an important life lesson. You have, essentially have two lives. I don't, I don't know, Lost Wolf, who uh, was just playing that really colorful game um, in the previous clip. I don't know where he is right now. Uh, and that makes me sad because he was, he's a fantastic dude to hang out with on his streams. Like, he's just so chill and happy and cares, you know, so much about the games that he chooses to play. Like, he's, I don't know, he inspires me. And I just, I don't know where he is. I just sent him a PM. You finally have time to play Vaporum? Hell yes. Vaporum looks awesome. Well, the little bit I played is awesome. Uh, okay. We well, wanted more music, right? Oh, oh my god. What is the what is y'all's strategy for the sunflowers? <sighs> slap, 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 slap. Back row always. Like what I'm doing. Oh god! Oh god! Ah! Right. I almost accidentally put that in this space. Oh no. <laughs> Two to three rows in the back and flood the front with shooters, whatever. Oh. Okay. Huh. <clears throat> so I should start putting my shooters up one more, huh? Brains. Blains. Strider, welcome in. Sorry, I'm super focused, apparently. Money and a recharge? Oof, huh?
So a row of walnuts midfield is a good strategy. They get hung up and take damage. Sure, sure. <clears throat> I'm just kind of using them at the last second measure at this point, but... Busy to this game, isn't there? Now, now I've lost my ability to aim, and I'm just like spamming everywhere. Wow, it takes a long time to get another one of these. Oh, we did it. That's not so bad. This part is so relaxed. Lulz. This is right where I started to feel the stress of it. This game's fucking delightful. Until the giants. I'll be screaming, huh? Let you dig up a plant to make room for another. That's good. What is this? Oh no! Oh no! Quasi Crazy day. Okay. But first, I need you to clear your lawn. Use your shovel. To dig up those plants. This is this is who runs the neighborhood association. What absolute bullshit! Let's the digging commits. I fucking adore his design, though, and his voice. It's perfect. We're going bowling! You take this walnut. Why did I put a walnut in your hand? Oh, wow. The first and last time you'll ever use that shovel, you think? I made a mistake in the previous map. Bowl me a wiener. What is this? Hold on. What am I supposed to do? Oh. Very strange. I forgot the rocks? What do you mean? What rocks? Was I supposed to dig more in the yard? You can explode? Hell yeah! Ooh, we got two of them. I'll see. Oh no. played video games before. Fuck, fuck! I goofed. 
Oh, they don't, they don't, they don't go away off the side of the screen. There's a ground cherry pot. What? Explodes on contact, but takes time to arm itself. So it's a non-disposable mine? Oh, no. Oh, I have a landmine. One of those. Oh, those cherries are cherry bombs. Oh, okay. Ah, uh, maybe that was a mistake. I should have just used the gun emplacements. <clears throat> Here. Panic! Panicking! The music, sound effects, and graphics are all so good. They are! This game has more charm than, than I remember. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Did it say explode? Is that what it did? down here? No. Oh, you son of a bitch! Okay. Okay. Hating that. Oh shit, I put that in the wrong place. No! Not good. Oh boy, okay. This is Spudal, okay. This is like it takes all of my concentration. All of my concentration here. Oh, I beat it. Okay. Woo! Sad to know it doesn't work well on the Steam. No, it doesn't have to. Well, see, Apple, that's that's one of the main reasons that I I didn't play this back in the day. Hey, Taya, how you doing? Welcome in. Um, it's because it didn't have controller support, and I was aiming for games that had controller support. In a big way. Uh, because this game came out pretty, pretty much when I was paralyzed. 
Um, so I was spending so much time in bed with that tray table, and the mouse and keyboard on that laptop just was not a good time, right? So I played almost anything I could with the controller, and this is a game that came out around that time frame. <clears throat> It was either after that, or it was... It was, like, right when, like, the pain was awful before I got stuck in the hospital. Um, which was, like, a good six months of back pain. Uh, shoots frozen peas that damage and slow enemies. Oh, they're expensive, though. Might not have been the best move, but it's what I did. <laughs> I wish that there was an easier pause button. I can't, this is not a game that I can look at chat with a lot because there's constantly something I need to be piddling with. This game could get hard. Yeah. People are saying it's a Zen, Zen game, but Apple says it was sheer panic. That isn't what we want. That isn't what we want. No. Ugh. I think I've made big mistakes here. That guy didn't get through though, right? I wasted that spot, but oh well. You know, if it... If they get through, the lawnmower starts up and goes. Oh, no, I didn't know that. We haven't seen that yet. I shouldn't have done that.
Do I get any... Do I get any money back? For... Uh, for digging plants up at all? Okay, that doesn't take out the plants around it. That's good. Thank General Zod for that. Whoops. All right, now we're now we're talking here. Now we're talking. Blind gamer, great to see you, my friend. Playing high C's, the thing is, what, what now? Anyway, let me, let me pause and read exactly what you said. You too? I was playing high C's Havoc yesterday. Oh, okay, gotcha. Thinking about it. I saw you go live, but it was right as I was, like, going to bed. Like, you went, you went live about five minutes after I climbed into bed. Last night. I think it was last night, right? That's nice. Whatever that is. Devours a zombie whole, but is vulnerable while chewing. Yikes, okay. I got there's like green slime. God, this is a sword order now? Oh no. Feed me. Oh no. I hate that I sorted them like this. Can I restart this level? Yeah, restart. Hey, Retro Chaos, welcome in. How's the Undead Guarding in 2023? It's really nice. Alright. Alright, there we go. Feel better about that. Holy shit. That was gonna mess me up so bad. Move that I don't love that I did, but hey, 
Hey, Matt's Game Room, welcome in. This game? I am playing it in Windows XP over VGA, so it's retro, as far as I'm concerned. Great to see you. Sorry, I totally missed you uh, coming in. This game is considered retro now? Well, I have it tagged as games and demos and not retro, but yeah, it's retro. I'm playing in Windows XP. Oh, we got the... Yeah. We're doing the CRT thing, you know. You know about CRTs, don't you, Matt's Game Room? Have you heard about our Lord and Savior CRT? Cathode ray tubes? Ooh, what's retro? <clears throat> I mean... I love your tubes, nice. Thanks. Bonk. <laughs> you've been you've been brain blocked. Oh, I can put them right under their feet, too. That's good. That's good. That'll help. Father keeps saying we should get rid of our old CRTs, and I'm like, never. Hell yeah, that's right. It's like an 80s model. Phillips Discovery. I was looking for a CRT to buy the other day and say the Phillips Discovery, probably the coolest TV ever made. I don't think I'm a way know that one. You talking about the size of this cursor? Yeah, we're. I mean, we're playing at 1024 by 768. It's Pretty low res, but it's also a per perfect resolution. Matter of fact, it's my preferred New Year's resolution. What's your preferred New Year's resolution? Last year it was 800 by 600. This year it's 1024 by 768. <laughs> Ah, I put it in the wrong one, eh? My OCD is getting the better of me here. <laughs> so 
so slow this barricade to make. So slow. Oh, did I win? Okay. How much was it going for, Common? What they were called? Casuals? Casual game? This was called a casual game. Popcap was the company? I guess it depends on the question you're asking, huh? What is this? An angry super shooter? Power defense. Yeah. Fires two peas at a time. Do you think I'll really screw myself over if I don't get this one? I should probably get both. Really, it came from Warcraft? putting it there like that. MOBA? Oh, MOBAs were everywhere. Massive online battle arenas with that stands for. They're really chomping down hard, aren't they? Good, good. What's the meltdown about? As soon as he's out of the office? Oh, we can, we can open the door. That's fine. Hey, 
buddy. Hey, what you doing? Being a total turd. You having a meltdown out there? Yes. But why? You're just going to walk out of here when she leaves anyways. I know, we ordered you more treats. We don't have any. We didn't. Their whole site was sold out. Oh. But they do have a subscription model, so I think we're going to go to that. That's good. That's good. I love you, buddy. See, it's okay. You're okay. Did you see him look at me? Uh, What's the big white pod-looking thing next to your desk? What, uh, next to my desk? You talking about this over here? There's two computer towers there. Or are you talking about that back there? PC case? Oh, this? That's my PC case. Uh, right side of the desk. Yeah, that? That's my that's my modern PC. Um look up uh Antec Torque is what it is. And that thing is I that's like the first computer case that I have ever like I went out of my way to be able to get that. Looks like a mech. Yes it does. No, I I love that fucking case. Like that is like the be all end all of computer cases for me. Yeah, look up Antec Torque. Um, they got a couple different versions of it. It's also an open air case. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's very well built. Um, one of the cool things about it is like the tray that you build on, um, you can actually just pop out um, and build it outside of the case and then put it in. I used to have something called a level a level 10 GT. I had this white version of it, and I thought that was, like, the coolest case ever because cases were so boring for a long time. But, like, the longer I had that case, the more uglier I thought it was. And then I saw this thing, and I was like, that's the last case I'm ever going to buy for a modern PC. Uh, yeah, I'll be using that. I'll be using that for the rest of my life. Like, it wasn't terribly expensive, but it was also, like, three or $400. Like, I've seen cases that are way more expensive than that, but I... Like, I saved up, I cashed out an old retirement thing, like, we waited for that check to show up, like, I, I put in, I put in some, like, hard effort to be able to get that case. Um, probably five, six years ago, I want to say. I do. Well, I don't upgrade that often, but, hey, buddy. Did you just, did you just bring me your toy? You mean hold it? <laughs> wow, just fling it at me. You gotta pick it up for me, though. I don't bend that way. I don't bend that way. So what the dog wants me to do is he wants me to hold this so that he can chew on it. This antler. He just wants somebody to hold it so that he can chew on it easier. Because he's smart and he understands that people are tools. You want me to flip it? So he just wants me to flip it now. So he can chew the other side. Zip drive's found. Yeah, exactly. That's about where I'm at with it, Matt's Game Room. I mean, with all the, the computer parts and money stuff, upgrading has not been an option for a very long time. Um, That one's not. I got some in the closet um, by the Barbarella poster. Probably eight, nine of them that are sealed. Buddy, I gotta get back to the game. I can't just... I know. I know. This is the only thing that you want. So he's just bringing it back to me because he took it. You're the best. You are. You know. But you get... Like, you got... You have to... Just drops it in my lap. You have to take this over here. Wow, buddy. Wow. Well, now what? Now what?
You take that. You take that. I gotta play a video game. I don't know. He's, like, figured out the loophole. If he just, like, drops it under my chair, I have to go get it. And he's just not stopping. That's what he's being like today? I oh, know. Ugh, hands are slipping. Yeah, I don't think I have any motherboards in the house that are really newer than that. Well, the stream PC, that's the one computer I've built. I built that in 2021, right at, right at New Year's. Um, and it's on a test bench. Like, my stream PC is also an open-air PC. You don't really you don't really get to see that one all that often. It's hidden underneath the touchscreen monitor. Um, but it's like a, a small size... Um, thing with a Ryzen and a 1660. <laughs> Your dog's technique is incredible. Hey, Whimsical Sprites, welcome in. Great to see you. Doing fantastic. Oh, God. Totally lost my train of thought. We were in the middle of a major attack. Can you not be on my desk? <laughs> yeah, this was uh, 2000 XP and Vista. <laughs> okay, we got it, we got it. Uh, and Mac. It was on Mac as well. Um, and the version I have is actually the one that was my wife's back in the day. Hey, Galileo. This game was great. You know, I didn't... I wasn't... I wasn't... I wasn't into it at all back then. Um, retro. What? He kisses. Oh, kisses in the face. You're so cute, buddy. Hey, random TV. Is someone those IO sites now? Maybe. Hey, don't eat cardboard, man. You know, come into this room and eat cardboard. That's a big hell no. This thing recharges fast. Wow, we got a lot of money right now. get though that's exactly what you get this supposed to be on camp I know it's adorable when he climbs the back of my chair he is a really good buddy
That was a really satisfying rush sound, wasn't it? What was this? Oh, I won. Okay. Hello, we are about to launch an all-on attack on your house. Sincerely, the zombies. Sons of bitches. Okay. Oh! My. Word. Music! This music slams, though. Good, right, commonly? Tech of Tacos, thank you so much for the raid, my friend. Have you played this one? It's, it's kind of amazing. I, I kind of avoided this one back in the day. Thank you so much for that raid, by the way. Uh, so I'm, I've kind of played it for the first time. Like, I'm a, I, I kind of, I know how it works, I've seen it played, but I've just never played it for myself. Uh, and I'm just, I'm loving it, it's so charming. God damn it, this song is slamming, isn't it? Tap steady, welcome in, friend. Me, uh, let me give uh, Tech Tacos a shout out. Unless one of my mods already did it. How many mods today? 
I might not have any mods today. Thank you again so much for that raid. Oh, that's like there you go. Am I gonna be on long? You're lurking now till the kids are in bed? No, probably about twelve more minutes. Um my wife and I are gonna go out to dinner. But yeah, the, the one hour stream goes from two to four basically. Um uh, tomorrow night, same time frame, but I'll also come back and um, after dinner tomorrow night and work on uh, Excellent. Hey Rush, how you doing today? Great to see you. Tower defense, yeah. That's not usually my thing. Cool. That worked out. This will work out too. Bye! All of them. Got all of them. Man, that was a disaster for them. Shoots short range spores at the enemy. Look at its cute little mouth. Ooh, it's a nighttime lab. Oh, no. You don't really have a good time with tower defense? I don't either. He knows my name. Uh, I, I don't either, but. Like I can I can deal with them up to a certain point and then they get like way too hard. <laughs> Go play something else. The zombies just won't let up, will they? You'll notice that fighting zombies at night is different than during the day. For one, they won't get any sun falling from this Oh no. You can still get sun for sunflowers though. And lucky for you, I got yourself some puff shrooms. Plant as many of those as you can. And you'll be a oh good. <laughs> a oh good. All right. Look at the fucking newspaper. That's cute. Okay. Pop. Are these zero? Did those not cost anything? I'm gonna need cheap options here. Let's rock. What's this nonsense? Naughty. Oh, okay. Nice. Oh, shit. Okay. I have a feeling nighttime is where I'm going to bounce out of this game. I should probably not let him get this far back, huh? They're not terrible, are they? Come on! Oof, okay. I know, I didn't know if he'd be all right or not.
that? Save up money to purchase cool stuff? What? Froze hard, didn't he? Runs like ass on Windows 8, 11? That sucks. This music picked up though? Love it. We win? I think we won. Yeah, there's like a game of the year edition on in on Steam and um, some other version that I think was for sale on the Origins launcher, but <gasps> oh, okay. <clears throat> All right, they want to wrap it up here. You collect 270 coins so far. When you collect 750, I'll sell you something really neato. Was free on Origin for the longest time. Yeah, that checks out. Uh, yeah, my wife and I, my wife and I got a dinner date tonight. You do save my progress, right? Two, two. There we go. Maybe I'll play some more of this at some point, if y'all want. Did he like hidden point and click items tucked away in here anywhere? Locked. You have to play more of the adventure to unlock that. Let the adventure to unlock that survival mode. That's interesting. Honestly, thank you. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. Maybe, uh, yeah, maybe I'll... There's a couple games that are small, bite-sized games like this that I'd like to do more of, but I don't really have a good format for how I want to do that. Uh, not with the kind of stream that I'm doing. Like, I keep telling myself that maybe one day when I feel like doing something like this, I'll do a stream on the Discord. And then I end up, like, talking myself out of, you know, it, like, on the basis of fracturing the viewer base or something. You know what I mean? I leave, leaving people excluded that only watch on Twitch. I don't know. I don't know. I would, one of the things that I would like to do at some point is just do, like, like, let's hang out voice chat on Discord while I play some random thing and not have all the, you know, stream pressures or whatever. Um, and not stream it to Twitch, just hang out. Uh, but, like, I don't know when the hell I'd find time for that in my schedule. Because <laughs> I've, I've managed to, like, every time I, I break free from something, I've managed to, like, come up with something like News Show. And now I do that every Friday. Now it would be fun. You thought about doing that too, Rush? Mr. Jones, great to see you, friend. Yeah, I, I want to come up with something. Um, th There was a time when I could have, like, snuck snuck in that in like the mornings um, but with a dog it's it's kind of it's hard to find time for that dog is not as you know ridiculously all time consuming as a child would be but he's he's a problem sometimes so I can't really take my eyes off of him and I don't want to leave him in the kennel all day right can't put a can't put a kid in the kennel Jones, I'm doing really good. I'm just wrapping up uh, this stream for today. Um, 
I'll be back tomorrow with Sir Whoopass Immortal Death. Yeah, these are the one hour streams are only like two hours long. That's the joke. Catch the thought. It was a lot of fun. I enjoyed it. Yeah, this flamer I gave at the beginning was this what isn't really my kind of game, but you know what? I've grown a lot as a as a person who likes video games, and I like to give things a try that I initially uh was like meh or fuck no about. Um and this is definitely one of those. And I'd like to play more of it. I'd like to play more of it. Absolutely, stock for order. Thank you, commonly rare. They will. Uh, but yeah, tomorrow, Sir Whoopass looks hilarious. Highly recommend catching that. Um, and then I'm gonna, after, so that's tomorrow. After that, I'm gonna go eat dinner. Then I'm gonna come back, and we're gonna keep working on Hex and Beyond Heretic. Um, so there's there's more DOS games coming up. Um, at least till we're through Hex and One and its expansion. Uh, let's find somebody to raid. Get this guy put back in its box. Find somebody to raid. Appreciate everybody being here. This is a lot of fun. Uh... Schedule's up on the Discord if you want to see what games I'm playing. It's also in the About Me section below. Thank you for stream. My pleasure. Uh... Alright, live. Who's live? I get to raid anybody now, not just other DOS streamers. That's fun. Let's go over to Breaking Debs. That's where we're headed. We're going to Breaking Debs. She's working on Celeste. Breaking Deb is the significant other of Catesio, who y'all should be paying attention to currently. And uh, she's cool and has this like gorgeous blue hair. Um, she's Italian, if I remember correctly. I haven't gotten to Raider yet. I love y'all. Uh, looking forward to tomorrow. Alright, I'm gonna hit the Raid button. Y'all go over there and be awesome. Thanks, Tech Link. Thank you for being here. Okay.